Brother, let me ask you a question. I want to ask you. Right, brilliant. Like many Muslims, you don't have any knowledge of your religion. That's perfect. So, in terms of what the Quran says, an intellect of a small young teenager could get this. You don't need to be a genius. The Quran is saying, this day I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you. Thank you, God. There we go. Right, brilliant. So, if it's perfected and completed, why were other verses revealed? Yes. So the last surah of the Quran that was revealed was surah 110. Shall we go to surah 110 and see what it says? Well, let's go to surah 110. Okay, okay. Because remember... Even though I don't know, but for the sake of argument, how do you know the other verse that you're talking about is the last verse that came down? Because Muslims tell us that the last surah of the Quran to be revealed was surah 110. That's so what I am... tells you. Oh, right. So now That's you don't Muslim even believe what you, Muslims yeah? tell you. That's what Muslims tell you. So you don't believe that? So you haven't researched that? So you don't, no, no, Muslims, Muslims tell us that's, that's, that Surah 110. Don't listen to Muslims, so if you're saying, if you're saying, since, since Muslims are, are brought up the Sahaba, Let, let's do a thought experiment. Saying, oh, we're going to follow the Muslims. Let's, let's do a thought follow experiment. The Quran and the Sunnah. Brilliant, brilliant. So we're following the Quran. The Quran has made a claim. Not that Muslims. Quran is patently false. The word that came up from the mouth. Yeah. Said, that's what saying. Okay, I don't want to hear about logically, 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 does Surah Ayah 4 come after Ayah 3? That's what I said, I have no knowledge about it. I'm asking you. Amazing, see, yeah. see, see, amazing. See, see, give me that statement. Let's have a timed conversation, yeah? Yes. Can so, we get so a timer? See, so Can we get a timer? No, 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 let's get a timer because we're just going to start talking over one another. Let's get a timer. No, you will have two minutes, I, no I will have two minutes. No, no, no. No, because the thing is, bro, the thing is, what always happens in debates without a timer, I'm is different. Muslims I'm different. No, I've never ever met a man okay, like right. me. Different. So you here's my me. question. Logically, Ayah 4 comes after Ayah 3. But Ayah 3 says on this day, I have perfected. Was, how did you know the other Ayah is the last verse of the Quran? Because Muslim said, scholars Imam, say so. Muslim, now, Muslim scholars, now you're other scholars. The first you said this is Muslim. Yes, fine. I've corrected yeah, yeah. myself. Uh, hey, hey. Yes, yeah, you so, said Muslim. Muslim. So deal with the argument. Muslim scholars. Mm. Okay. So, okay. Guys, can someone just Google what Muslims say is the last surah of the Quran? Okay, let's, someone let's, Google let's that. Let's fact check that. Everybody yeah. just Google it. Let's, let's be fair and let's check the evidence. And then what we're looking for an Islamic See. website. We're hey. not looking for a hey. Christian website. We're looking for an Islamic website that says what the last surah of the Quran is. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Let's fact check it. Yeah. What source is that? 110. Um, what's, the, what's the source, bro? No Wikipedia, yeah? No Wikipedia. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. No Wikipedia, no Wiki. At Mari Webb. Okay. It says here 114. 114. Okay, yeah, myislam.org. Myislam.org. Clearly not a Christian website. Okay. By Ahmed Abdullah. Not clearly a non Muslim name. Okay. Says, when we begin to learn and memorize the Quran, we usually begin with Surah Al Fatiha because it, of its importance in Salat. Yeah, yeah. From here, it's common to move on to the last surah of the Quran, Juz Amna, last section of the Quran. It contains short surahs which are easy to memorize. The last 10 surahs. Um, can range anywhere from three to six ayahs. This makes per this makes it perfect for children, new Muslims, or those who just wish to increase their knowledge of the Quran. In Sahih Al Bukhari, Book 65, Hadith 4937, it says that the person who masters the Quran by heart will be among the righteous scribes in Jannah. If a person has to exert himself and has a difficult time reading the Quran then his reward is said to be double, alhamdulillah. Here's the list of the last 10 surahs of the Quran. So actually, it's, it's not answering the question. We need, we need something that says what the last surah. Even if you did answer uh, your own Wim. question, Wim. the Wim. website would still be a different. Brother, you're just about for to be me, exposed. For me, you're, you're about to be exposed. It has to be the authentic, the, the good place. Uh, we're we're back to Google. Let's come back to YouTube. Ah, we need the, we some need the source. Some random website. Some random website. Brother, you know what you're running? This is called running away. No, 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 no. It's called running this away. This kind of question, you so, have to give it to me, and then I'll go home and research about it. Hamari, well, so, so I'm giving you the information now. Hamari Web. This is the source. Okay. What, in answer to the question, what last, what is the last surah in the Quran to be revealed? Surah Al Nasri revealed was the last surah of the Quran. Al Nasri is one one zero one one ten. 
surah in the Quran has three verses, 80 letters and 19 words. It is a para or juz, 30 of the Quran. Surah al-Nasri is the Madni surah because it was the last surah revealed on Hazrat, uh, on Hazrat Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, in Medina. So, what's we've the, given you a source. What was the verse? What was the last verse? Oh was my gosh. 110. And what's the verse that you said? Okay, so the verse that I am quoting. No, no, no the last verse that you said. The verse saw. that I am quoting is Surah 5. You're, not three. you're, you're not just running away, bro. You're not, you're me this out. is why I wanted no, no, to do no, no, a timer no, no, because it's just interrupting. What was the you said it was okay. Said, this is why I wanted to do a timer. When it came to me, so, you better so to this is a day. What was the last verse that you said that came down? Surah yeah, 110. Yeah. And you're saying that's the last, last that's verse? That's what Muslims say. Yeah. And, and what scholar was it? We've got, given you the website. What was it again? Oh, okay. Har Harmani. Harmani. Oh. It's on the record. Guys, Harmani. guys, Harmani. guys Harmani. we've established, Harmani. Harmani. We've established that Muslims that Muslims are the ones sharing this, this information. This is Google. No, no friend. It gives the source. This is, this is the source. Hamari Web, you can check it out for yourself. Hamari Web. So, guys. I'm going to check who's Hamari Great, himself. brilliant, oh, well great. Done. So, yeah, Muslim, have, we have to check who he's Muslim. You said he was all right. This is why I wanted to time it. Okay. Different domination. All right, so, that's how we are. So, so now let's move the argument forward. Yeah, that's a little bit. So, we've established, we've established that there are Muslims putting out into the web, putting out into the world, yeah, the really, idea yes, that this that. is Surah 110. Now, he has not offered what he thinks the last surah is, nor has he given his reasons. And he's now not even listening. But let's go back to the point. Because surah 110, if that was the last surah, means that the Quran was still being added to. But the Quran says, this day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my blessing upon you. So was Allah right when he said that? He was right. Brilliant. Okay. So how do you add to something that's completed? It is complete. He just told you there. Are you blind? But this is the Quran continue to be revealed. Which verse? So why would it be We've why just said no, 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 110. No, 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 no. I told you. Their opinion. <laughs> and, and I told you. I'm going to research and what, you. What's your evidence? Proving me I'm wrong. I'm wrong. He didn't say he's completely revealing it upon us. He says it's completed. It's no. Listen to what it says. Today. This day. I have perfected your religion, yeah. so it's perfect, yeah. agreed? Right, if it's perfect, doesn't need to be added to, does it? Okay, wait, 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 I get the point One now. second, I get, I get the point. One second, religion, and it says, one second, religion. and it says, exactly, all right, is, is that, brilliant, brilliant. Exactly. Is the religion complete if the revelation isn't? <laughs> no. Yeah, he's silent. <laughs> Let's try this guy. I'll ask you the same question. Is the religion complete if the revelation isn't? The religion, yes, but not the verse. So the religion is complete even if there isn't the, the revelation isn't. So in other words, in other, so what you're saying is the, the, the Islam was complete even though the Quran was still being revealed. I'll tell you why not, because logically that makes no sense. Some verses is that it makes no sense. No, 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 some verses it was that moment if, and he was living. So if there is something in other surahs that Muslims need to live by, then it's not complete, is it? There's some verses... But it says, but it's talking to Muslims. It's, it's talking, because, because this isn't from God. And this is proof that it's not from God. It says this, listen bro, it says this day, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. So it's talking to Muslims, and it's saying that it's perfected and completed. Which means, which means that if it is perfected and completed, he has completed his blessing upon them, is every ayah of the Quran a blessing? Right, so if every ayah of the Quran is a blessing, then it's saying that the blessing is complete. Yeah, but right, yeah, but if it hasn't yet been, was was the Quran created? Depends how you define it. Was, was it created? The Quran couldn't be completed. Muslims believe that the Quran is eternal. So even if we say that it's completed but not revealed, it can't be completed. It can't be completed because it completed is a process from beginning to end. You start and you have completion. So your argument, which is suggesting that it's complete but not revealed, still makes no sense. Because if Allah is talking about the Quran that has not yet been revealed, it's implying that there's something that, that the Quran was completed on a particular day and time. Silent again. 
What does the verse say? Don't put words in your mouth. I didn't. No words came out. I just pointed out that there's no words coming out. Don't put words in his mouth. Brother. I'm trying to digest what you're saying so I can yeah. give you an answer. Yeah, that's fine. Exactly. What the does the point verse is, say? I need more than a couple of seconds. Okay, listen. Maybe it's for the camera. Okay. So, the, what we're talking about. The Quran lays down a challenge to me. Not to you, to me. It says, consider the Quran. And if it's from any other than Allah, we would find contradictions therein. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Okay. So the Quran also says, This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you. So that's the idea of completing the blessing. The message. Yeah, exactly. The message. And have chosen for you Islam as your religion. But this is not the last surah of the Quran. Other surahs were revealed which means that it wasn't complete and it wasn't perfected. So Allah should have said, this day I have not yet perfected your religion for you, nor have I completed my favor upon you, because I still have other things to tell you. But the Quran doesn't say that, it says the opposite. So if, if the evidence contradicts the statement, the statement is false. And if the statement is false, the Quran is wrong. I'm You're assuming that. the religion is just the Quran. The religion is just the Quran. Are you sure? That's what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that the Quran is saying that whatever Islam is, it was completed and perfected on the day that this surah was revealed. So this, what happened that day? Your opinion. I don't know. But it's irrelevant to the point because Muslims themselves say that this wasn't the last surah of the Quran, nor the last ayah, which means that there were other surahs and other ayahs. Let's just give you the idea that Islam is the Quran and the Hadith. Let's just say that. For the sake of argument, I give it to you. I don't believe it, but let's just say it. But the thing is, yeah, the sunnah of the Prophet. So, Let's just let's just give that to you. Let's just give that to you. The fact of is, the fact is that I have got nine points of evidence of historical development within Islam, not just development of institutions, but developments of doctrines. Next, go and check it out and come back to me. So I'm going to give you evidence that Islam is still developing its doctrine, is still developing its sense of Sharia. We're still developing sources, we're still developing even the five pillars of Islam, all after Muhammad. Here's my nine examples. The idea that Quranic recitation is created or uncreated. That was a question that was decided at the time of Imam Bukhari. It wasn't decided before. The idea of Qadr, predestination was a doctrine that Muslims settled on after Muhammad. The idea of how to... Other Muslims, I don't believe in Jesus. That's fine, Muslims are disagreeing with Jesus. You're going to give you an example. Can I just say one more thing? So, you say before the Prophet Muhammad, one of the Prophets was praying for the first thing, giving Zakat. Well, let me explain. Yeah, if you wait, you'll hear. So, in terms of what the, the construct of the Shadahada is, that came after Muhammad, you can't show it me in the Quran. The idea that of doing five prayers came after Muhammad, you can't show it me in the Quran. The idea that zakat should be continued after the death of Muhammad was not something that Muslims all agreed on, they fought wars and killed one another because of that question, right after Muhammad's death. How Muhammad should be succeeded was not something that Muhammad ever addressed properly. Shias give one answer, Sunnis give another answer, and the Karaji give a different answer entirely. It's based upon whether you should use arbitration, consensus, or whether it's about you inheriting. The idea, the idea that the Quran was uncreated was something that Muslims came up with after Muhammad died. The idea that Ali's attributes, whether they were literal or anthropomorphic, was something decided after Muhammad died. The relation between one's deeds and one's imam, or one's piety and one's imam, was a question that was decided after Muhammad. The compilation of the Quran itself came after Muhammad. The compilation of the hadiths came after Muhammad. The foundation of the Islamic law schools, Hanafi, Hanbali, Maliki, Shaiti, came after Muhammad. 
the establishment of the Ashari Theological School came after Muhammad. The establishment of the Matardiya Theological School came after Muhammad. The idea of Salafism came after Muhammad. The fact is, if the Quran, if Allah perfected his religion and completed his blessing upon the Muslims on that day that he revealed that verse, well, it, funnily enough, Muslims didn't seem to get the idea that it was perfected. They didn't seem to get the idea that it was complete because they had bidder on bidder on bidder on bidder, innovation on innovation on innovation to complete something that was supposed to be perfect at the time of Muhammad. Your response, sir. Your response. Obviously you have an Your response, sir. I still don't get how there was a prayer before the Prophet. All prophets pray. So you, you've not listened to my audience. No, I have listened, but it just, if you weigh the scale, it doesn't make sense. Because you say the does it make sense to everyone else? Yeah. Everyone else seems to get my point. You're the only one that doesn't. Listening. There you go. Didn't I just say he wasn't listening? Maybe. I just got here, brother. I heard the last bit. So, brother, I said to you, you didn't follow my argument. You said you had followed my argument. You said it didn't make sense, and everyone else said it made sense. So the fact of the matter is, you either weren't listening, or it does make sense, but you don't want to deal with it. Let's ask this, brother. I want to ask this, brother. Which one? Who came in last week? Let's ask him. Ah, yeah. We love you, We love you, bro. Come on, bro. We love you. We love you. You did this to me. It's perfect. I didn't come to you. I didn't come to you. This one's You came to me last week. I'm not judging you. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not judging you. Yeah, we love you. We love you, bro. Let me ask you this question. You believe in the Quran, right? Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Allah doesn't tell a lie, does he? Nah, never, never, never. Allah doesn't make a mistake in what he says, does Never, he? never. What was the last surah of the Quran to be revealed? There's not. Muhammad hated dogs, by the way. All you dog lovers. No, listen. I'm gonna say one thing. I don't like the baby. What? I don't want to get in a conversation. But you did last week. You interrupted, so it's fine now for me to do it. So one question. Only one question. One question. Only one question. That's it. Only one. Only one question. That's it. One question. Another Muslim who wants to run away from the audience. I don't blame you. Ali Dawa ran away. Mansour ran away. He doesn't run away. He doesn't run away. Right, so, here we go. This day, this is what the Quran says. This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. So my question to you is this. When the Quran says that Islam was complete on this day, was it right or was it wrong? According to the Quran, it's going to be right. Okay, so why is it then that Muslims say that the Quran continued to be revealed after this verse? Surah 5, Ayah 3. 5, Ayah 3. Check it, check it, check it. Um, check it, check it. So that's my really question. He can't really comment. <laughs> okay, brother, let me ask you this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he doesn't want to answer. <laughs> you want? I can ask you. If you yeah, ask me yeah, a question, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to ask you a question. I was going to know what you were reading. So, Surah 5, okay. Ayah 3. Okay, 5, 3. Allah makes a claim. Okay. That claim, I really say, good. is false. It's a lie. Why? I'm going to explain. It's false and it's a lie. Why? Why? And it's either false or it's a lie. Okay. Or more logically, Muhammad just wasn't the prophet he thought he was. But here's what the Quran claims. That Islam was completed on the day that Surah 5, Ayah 3 was revealed. It was called Aladdin. I've just read it to you. Surah 5, Ayah 3, keep up. So in terms of Surah 5, Ayah 3, Allah says this. He's not listening. Allah says this. What does he say, Bob? Are you listening? This day, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, okay. not yesterday. Okay. This day, okay. I have perfected your religion. Everyone say perfect. 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 Completed my favor upon you. Everyone say completed. 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 You don't add to something that's complete and you can't improve upon perfection. So, 
This was not the last surah of the Quran. Allah continues to add to it. Where does he add to it? So Muslims say, Muslims say that the last surah of the Quran was surah 110. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Go on. What's the Shia perspective here? Having heard the narratives that. The that came down came yeah. That's my point. So, so if, so that is my point. So if the narrative is that the last chapter was hundred and ten, this verse could have been the last. Okay. Do you agree with that? No, because yeah. let me explain why. Let's do a thought experiment. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's a good Let's idea. do a thought experiment. Let's do a thought experiment. We'll do it two ways. Two ways. So we can't take that one second. Now, so these guys are just going to be rude. They always do. Right. Maybe you want to stand here so these guys can talk to them. That's why. That's you, can, why you come and yeah. you can run away. So here's the thing. We'll do a thought experiment. That this is the last surah of the surah and the last ayah. And we'll do an experiment where it isn't. Let's do the one where it isn't first because that's the best. If this is not the last surah and ayah of the Quran to be revealed, surah and ayah, surah and ayah of the, the, the Quran to be revealed, then that means Allah said something that wasn't true. Because Allah continues to reveal the Quran, and every part of the Quran is perfect, and every part of the Quran is a blessing, every part of the Quran is a favor put on to mankind. So if this isn't the last, then Allah should have said, not this is this day I have perfected your religion, completed my favor upon you, but rather he should have said, This day I have yet to come perfect your religion and yet to complete my favor. But he doesn't say that. And so the Quran has a contradiction. Now let's do the thought experiment. Who's this say this? Now let's you do the thought Now let's do the thought experiment the other way. Let's do the thought experiment the other way. Thought experiment the other way. Let's pretend, for the sake of argument, Though I haven't heard Muslims say that this is the last of the last of the first. Yeah. So, so let's, let's do the thought experiment the other way. Let's take a step back. These guys are having their own conversation. So let's do, let's do, let's do a discussion the other way. So, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of this verse, let's pretend that it is the last. So these were the very last words of the revelation of the Quran. So now that makes sense of the history, right? Except that it doesn't. Because I have nine examples of further development to Islam. In the verses. No, in history. In history. So, for instance, in the Quran. No, these are in history. Testified by Muslim historians. Hadiths? No. Testified by Muslim historians. The hadiths are included in it. So let me give you let me give you a litany, a liturgy of all the things that happened after Muhammad died. Bearing in mind, Muhammad said that it was perfected and completed on a particular day. Okay, which was that verse? Yes. Okay. You're, you're, so, what happened so that day? you're just going to have to wait. You're, you're, no, you had your chance, bro. You had your chance. So, it's saying, in history, this is what Islamic history testifies to. Not me. The Islamic, no. I just want to know. So it's in Islamic uh, history, history books. History. Okay, so history books. Yes, written by Muslims. Okay, so not the Quran. Okay. So, yeah. not yeah. written by Christians, written by Muslims about their own history. Oh, okay, okay. These are the kinds of things. These are the kinds of things. So whether the Quran was its recitation was created or uncreated was a question that was settled at the time of Imam Bukhari, 200 years after Muhammad. Whether Qadr, the question of predestination, was settled 200 years after Muhammad. The question of the succession that Shia and Sunni disagree upon is not is something that Muhammad never gave. Muslims decided that with two different answers. And the Kawraji, who betrayed Imam Ali, who betrayed the Caliph Ali, gave a third answer. So that's development later. Whether zakat should be something that is paid after Muhammad's death was not something that was decided until Muslims butchered one another why are you not and one about side one and the other why one didn't. Yam? Whether why the Quran was why, created why, 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 or why uncreated, about yam? whether the Quran yam? Yam? was created or why uncreated yam? was something why about that yam? was decided why you talk about hundreds yam? of years later. Why you talk about That's yam? called the Mutazilite heresy. Whether Allah's attributes are Allah, natural Allah, Allah, Allah. or anthropomorphic was a question decided later. Whether one's deeds are related or one's piety increases imam 
was a question decided after Muhammad. The compilation of the Quran itself happened after Muhammad. The compilation of the Hadith happened after Muhammad. The foundation of the legal schools of Hanbali, Hanbali, Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi happened. So all of if it was completed and perfected, why do you need to keep if it was completed and perfected? I don't care if he's Shia, he's a Muslim. I'm not I'm not a Salafist like you. Are you a Shia? I got no problem with Shias. So, so the point is, if Islam, if Islam was perfected and completed, why all the adding? Because it comes from hadiths. So we know the words, it wasn't completed and it wasn't perfected. The Quran says it was. Where were the hadiths? The day that verse was revealed was at a place called Jadid. Yes. The day of the leader. That day that verse was revealed was the day when Imam Ali was announced as a successor. Yes. And it was said about Imam Ali, the Prophet said, Imam Ali is the walking Quran. He's the talking Quran. That's why when Imam Ali became the Caliph, the first thing he said, you brought questions, ask me the questions and I'll give you the answer. So, and after the Prophet Muhammad, this is my belief, there were actually 12 Imams, all on the lineage of Imam Ali. And even we believe that Prophet Muhammad said, these are all 12 Muhammads. After my time, it was going to start with Imam Ali, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein. There will be 12 Imams after me. There will be 12 Muhammads. Right, hold on one second. You, you have made a point that it was the day that Ali was declared the Caliph. He was declared the successor of the Muhammad. But we both know that what actually happened in history is Abu Bakr, Uthman and Osman were the Caliph's succeeders that were succeeded succeeded Muhammad became the fourth Caliph and he was challenged by was it Moabia so the fact of the matter is Muslims themselves dispute your claims I don't believe in the first three Imam Ali your hadith Imam Ali is the first Imam for me do the Sunnis dispute the hadiths that your argument is no, it's connected. Do Sunnis dispute that? Yes, of course. Right. We're, and, and are we agreed? Are we agreed? That all of the texts that the Hadith has all of the texts that the Hadith has all the topics. The saints are all compiled Yes. So these are developments. It's not really a development. Oh, it is. It's a saying. It's a saying. It is. It is. So it, what, what you've got in Islam is bidah, you've got development, innovations. but it's not innovations, but they are not connected to Muhammad. That's true. Yeah? Yes. Right? Correct. The Sunni and the Shia accuse one another of bidah. Yes, correct. That's not a Christian accusation. Correct. I'm just repeating what Sunnis say about Shia and what Shia say about Sunnis. No, you guys have taught me about Sunni and Shia. So there is the non-contradiction Brother, one second. Let me deal with that. Let me deal with that. Because the brother is pointing out, oh, but Christians themselves disagree. And, and Christians have development in their religion. Okay, so let me address that exact point. In John chapter 16, do you know John chapter 16? Have you read John chapter 16? We don't know John. I don't know John. Okay, brilliant. So in John chapter 16, even Christians don't know John. You get in John chapter 16. Hey, let me deal with this point. Why are you being rude? So let's just deal with this point. Let's this, let's just deal with this point. Let's just deal with this point. John chapter 16. What you see is this. Je these are Jesus' words. Listen carefully. I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot hear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will disclose to you what is to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of mine and will disclose it to you. All the things that the Father has are mine, therefore I said that he takes of mine and will disclose it to you. So within the Christian, to answer your question, bro, are you back to the answer? I was giving you my evidence, now let me give you the answer. We Christians within our worldview have the scope, because of our revelation, for development. 
because Jesus himself said, I can't tell you everything, but the Holy Spirit will tell you everything. So we have scope for development, but the Quran, but the Quran, but the Quran, but the Quran says, but the Quran, are you listening to me? You ask the question, always Muslim manners are the same. You ask a question, you don't listen to the answer. So listen to me, bro. But the Quran says that there was a specific day that Islam was perfected and completed. So that two religions are different, they teach different things, and so the criticism can't be applied backwards and forwards. Okay, well, what Muslim scholar says what you're saying? No. Yes. Well, which was, name of what Muslim scholar? No, but I'm asking. That agrees with what you're saying, Madam. What? That agrees with that I'm saying? Oh, Yasakadi. Dr. No, Yasakadi. No, no, no. Yasakadi, yeah. <laughs> so he asked me to name a Muslim scholar okay. that agrees with what I'm saying, yeah. and when I name a Muslim scholar that agrees with what I'm saying, he says, oh, Dr. Yasakadi. <laughs> Sorry, one second, one second. Do you know what Dr. Yasakadi says? Oh, forget Dr. Yasakadi. Earlier, earlier, I wanted a Muslim scholar, now I gave him a Muslim scholar, suddenly it's forget Dr. Yasakadi. Ah, okay. So, brilliant, I will. Listen, listen. I'm going to, are you listening? On Muhammad Hijab, the golden shower, the king of the golden shower, on his channel, he does an interview with Dr. Yasakadi, where Dr. Yasakadi, where, no, you know, I'm not even finished and you're interrupting. So I'm just going to speak to everyone else because you're interrupting. So, Dr. Yasakadi, Doc, go away then. Dr. Yasakadi said, Dr. Yasakadi said, that the I'm gonna go away companions I'm go. of the Prophet did not deal with the questions that later Muslims dealt with. And that there were developments in the Deen of Islam. That there were developments of Islam. Those are the words of Dr. Yasakadi. Thank you, Muhammad Hijab. The check is in the post. Uh, back to John here. Yes. See that evil, you said the spirit of truth. Who's the spirit of truth? Yes, the Holy Spirit. So let me prove it. Holy Spirit. Yes, you're right. Yes. Yes. Shall I prove to you that the Holy Spirit is this? Yeah. Yes, I will. Are you listening? Okay. You don't know the Greek. This so let me just. Help. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Okay. So all of you need to. Go back and read from John 14 to 16. Time to go now. Yep. Oh, look. There you oh, go. But you're listening. Running you're away. Everybody, everybody. So, you're that's Muslim you. manners for you. you that's Muslim. Wait, wait, wait. I'm answering his question. He might have walked away. I'm still going to answer the question. Okay. So, how do I know that the Panuma Teres Alertios, which is the Greek of the Spirit of Truth, is the Holy Spirit? This is why. This is Jesus speaking. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another Parakletos. And he, that he may be with you forever, that is the Panuma Terzalertheos, whom the world cannot receive because it does not see him or know him, but you know him because he abides with you and will be in you. These things I have spoken to you while abiding with you, but the Parakletos, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the Holy Spirit is identified as the Panuma Terzalertheos. Because the Panuma Terzalertheos is called the Parakletos. But what is that? We don't know Greek. The Holy Spirit. That's who it is. Uh, you really said I literally have answered your question for you. I that's who it is. Question. You really said the Spirit. Oela. Yes. Which is one of the titles of the Holy Spirit. Hello? Are you saying that the Holy Spirit can't have more than one title? How many titles does Muhammad have? There you go. <laughs> Muhammad has multiple titles. He has his name. He's called Ahmed. He has multiple titles. So if Muhammad can have multiple titles, why can't the Holy Spirit? Your logic doesn't make sense. And neither does your Quran. But the Bible does. Um, no, yes. Okay, so when Jesus was a kid and he cried, he yep. would ask Mary for help. Yes. So, so then God let me, ask his mother for help. So let me explain that. Because because Christians believe in a doctrine called incarnation. Do you know what the incarnation is? 
No, that's fine. But have the courtesy now to live in, listen to the answer. Wait, 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 don't get me wrong. Brother, brother, brother. brother. So Christians believe in a doctrine called incarnation. All of these things that Muslims point to, the fact that our Lord prayed, the fact that he was born, the fact that he was dependent on his mother and father, the fact that he died on the cross, the fact that he called out to God, all of these things are because of the human nature that he takes on to himself. That is what we Christians believe. There is no contradiction about a human nature being needy. That is completely consistent with the idea of what a human nature is. We Christians believe Christ had a divine nature and a human nature. So whenever you point out these things, it is the answer is always the same. Because of the human nature. It's always that answer. That go that go that to every time. One is divine, one is human. Yes. When you are using one, you know. Bro, it's nice talking to you. Before you go, I want to give you a gift because you're courteous. Thank you. What? You got a Bible? Have a read of it. Come and talk to me, bro. Nice one, bro. We love you, bro. We all, we, I'm not, I'm not going to have a big debate about Christianity. I'm just going to answer your question, and then I'm going to go, because my debate is about Islam. It's 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 always, it's 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 obviously, it's because Muslims never stick to the Quran. You know what? Let me answer your question. What is my question? The question is, show me in the Bible that Christ had two natures. Two natures. Divine and human. Human. So let me show you that. In the same time, yeah? I'm going to show you that. Are you listening? Yeah. Okay. Well, John chapter know. one, John chapter one, verse one. Oh. Starting at verse one. All right. Okay. Follow me. All right. In the beginning was the Word, yeah. and the Word was with God. Yeah. Now, goes on to say. Oh, well, well, no, 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 one no, second. No, 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 no. If you're too. going to interrupt, do if you're going to interrupt, <laughs> I will just raise my voice. <laughs> Don't interrupt. You asked a question. Have the bloody courtesy to listen to the answer. You are, you are, you are lying Honestly, you are lying the bad manners all the time. So guys, he doesn't want to listen to the answer, so I'm going to give the answer to you. So he asked the question, show me in the Bible where the divine nature and the human nature are testified into the scripture. I'm not going to waste my time with someone who's got no manners. So, in the beginning was was the word that's the logos in the Greek finish it up and the logos was proston theon so facing God and the logos es kai theon and theos logos es kai theos logos es kai theos means that the divine the word was divine Bob, so like we have established ba, 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 we have established that the logos has a divine quality but he doesn't want to listen he's just interrupting because like his prophet muhammad had no manners and that is why this muslim has no manners he is the perfect example of a crap prophet because he is following a crap prophet now what does it say are you listening it says in verse 14 and the word became flesh everybody say that with me the word became flesh say it again the word became flesh say it again the word became flesh so the bible that says that the word is god says that the word became flesh Perfect. now your response all of them no response no response where's your answer 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 i'm not mad like you where's your answer where's your answer where's your answer you interrupted me all the way through where's your answer stay there where's your 
So what does it say? I read the whole verse. And then it says, after defining, after defining, the word was God. Can you hear that? Do you hear that? The word was God. It's even clearer in the Greek. Because the Logos es kai theos. That is a qualitative statement. It is saying that the word has the quality of the divine and the divine has the quality of the word. It's making the two interchangeable. And then it says the word became flesh. So who is the word? The word is realized through Jesus Christ. So contrary to what the brother says, the Bible says that Jesus Christ was divine and human. Once again, Muslim team, Muslim Dawah is based upon lies about the Bible, based upon lies about Christianity. Your response? What did you do? You did shout something. See, he wasn't even listening. Goodbye. How are you doing that? Get some medication, man. You got some problem, you know that. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, I got there's two. This one's gonna appear on Soko Films. One is called and Mental Bob. And then there's another one which I own, <laughs> which is called Bob, Bob the Belt. <laughs> so there's two. If I do Bob speakers, <laughs> call it. Yeah, you will. You'll find both. Google it. Yeah, I'll Google it. Brother, you are very polite and respectful. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got no manners. So I, I want to. Yeah, you are welcome, man. Are you are mad. I want to. I want to give you a gift. I'm telling you. Come back to me with your questions. On his questions, you see your questions. You know the verse we saw yeah, off here? Yeah. To me, the only answer to you is Shia faith. And because our belief is our 12 Imams had the same authority on the religion as Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. So if there's any developments, you need someone. So to me, what your question is, is actually confirmed in my faith. Would you agree that it's an accurate criticism of Sunnis? Of course. Okay, so what we need to do now, because, now, now because if you run a shop and you have to go somewhere for three months, you do not leave someone in charge of your shop. Yes. Logically. Yes. So if you apply that logic to a religion, it's the same thing. Yep. I, I, like I, Jesus, for you guys, would he had his disciples yep. who they said spread the message and yep. he would have made that clear. Yep. So to us, our prophet would have made it clear that there needs to be a successor. Here's, here's, I, and, and this is where I've got to stop because I am going to go. Okay. But you've been really lovely. It's been lovely to speak with you. Unlike, unlike this guy who's got no manners, no courtesy. I, it's I wanna... my first time here, so I realise random people come in, yeah, yeah, yeah. you start off on one point and go on another Absolutely. point. So my point to you is... And this like, is you know, on the sects as well, you know Sorry. the Prophet Muhammad, he, 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 he actually said there would be 73 sects. Yeah, but we know there's more than 73, which means Muhammad said something that's false. No, no, but then how do you define a sect? Is there 73 sects or more than Like, we tell Protestant and Catholic, is that two sects? But within Protestant, like, within Catholic, Catholic school, you have Greek Orthodox, Russian Orthodox. So, is that a sect? They would recognize one another as being valid. So, your definition of a sect then decides. All, all Orthodox churches recognize one another as having the same thing. There are denominational differences. And with amongst the Protestants, there, there's huge numbers of sects, thousands upon thousands of sects, a lot of Protestants. But they recognize one another as Protestants. So, so, but, but Allah, Muhammad said... Because you know Shia, Shia, there's five types of Shia as well. There's been Shia... Exactly, so, so this has actually you've given me yet another reason to reject Islam. Because Muhammad said something that contradicts the facts. Muhammad said there would be 73 sects, on your, based but on your, there's based more on your than 73 based on your definition. So come up with a... Alright, so here's your challenge. Come up with a definition of sect that means that you can see the Islamic world and just come up with 73 out of your definition. That's your challenge. I'll have to go and do some research. Go and do some research. But I guarantee you, to any definition of the word sect, there are more, at least current now, unless you invent one, there are more than 73 sects of Islam. Which means Muhammad said something that was false, which is another reason to reject Muhammad. Based on how you're counting kind of 73. Yes, agreed. Which is another debate. So you've got That's to come up. Debate. So you've got to That's come up. Debate. Okay, so you've got to come up with a way of counting that that lands on seventy-three. There's your challenge. You can prove me wrong. 
Come up with a definition of sick that allows you to get to 73, or come up with a way of counting that allows you to get to 73. Which one is the correct one? one? I'm going to go now. Because I'm going to Anyway, so it's a very nice idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we didn't get Bye -bye. Right. If you're coming for a drink, let's yeah. go. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrap up his stuff. Yeah, very quick, white rapper. Mohammed Hijab has been coming to this park attacking the Christian faith because of historical developments within the Christian faith. Ah, okay. The fact that our language about the Trinity developed. Well, thank you, Hijab. If you can use that stick, so can I. Which means that I can see if there's historical developments within Islam, and if there is, I can say that Islam's not true, like Muhammad Hijab suggests that Christianity is not true. And as you've seen today, Mah Ali Dawa, your great champion Muslims, Mansoor, your great champion Muslims, all run away. The fact of the matter is, the Quran has an internal contradiction. If it has an internal contradiction, it's not from Allah. Right. There are historical developments within Islamic institutions, Islamic beliefs, and Islamic practices. It was not perfected or completed at the time that the ayah was claiming that it was perfected and completed. Perfect. And therefore, Islam is false. <laughs> Christianity is true. Why? Because the resurrection is a historical fact and for over 2,000 years no one has been able to touch the resurrection or the crucifixion of our Lord. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord!